hey guys and welcome back in this video we are going to see how to install visual studio code in ubuntu operating system so for that i'll just open my browser and then just search for visual studio code and then click on the first link which is from code.visualstudio.com And then on this page you can see we have different packages for different operating systems. The first one is for Debian based Linux operating systems like Debian, Ubuntu. If you click on this arrow then you can find more packages for different operating systems like Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And also you can download the insiders version of the Visual Studio code. Anyways, we are just going to install the stable version. So I'll just click on this .dev link and then the installation file is going to download. Let the download be complete. Once it is downloaded, you can click on show all downloads and then you can then you can see the folder in which the installation file has been downloaded. Then I'll just minimize all the windows. and let's open files and then click on downloads because downloads is the folder where the installation file has been downloaded now the first way to install visual studio is by graphical user interface so we can just right click on the installation file and then click on open with other application and then from here we can click on software install and then if you click on the select button then the installation is going to begin and you can complete the installation using the graphical user interface and then the second way is by using terminal so for that i'll just open my terminal just press ctrl alt plus t and the terminal is going to open up then we have to open the directory in which we have the installation file so i'll just write cd downloads forward slash and then the current active directory is downloads now type ls so that we can list out all the files that we have in this folder and from here we have to uh, run or execute the first file that is code and has the extension .deb so i'll just copy the name of the file from here and then type sudo dpkg space hyphen i space then just paste the name of the file that we have copied and hit enter enter your password and again hit enter then the installation is going to begin we don't have to do anything here after the installation is over we don't have to do anything else it's complete now if you want to check if the visual studio code icon has been added to the apps or not you can just click on this icon which says show applications just click on it and then you can find the visual studio code icon here just click on it and the visual studio code is going to open up now if you want to add a folder you can just click on file and then open folder and then you can browse to the directory where you want to add the folder and let's say i want to add a folder here so i'll just click on this create folder icon and let's say the name is src so i'll just create it and then click on open and then it's asking do you trust the others of the files in this folder so I'll just click on yes and you can see the src folder has been added to our visual studio code now it's all empty you can see if you want to add a folder within src you can do it from here or you can refresh the content of this folder collapse folders in explorer or you can add a new file also let's say the file name is demo so you can add any kind of file from here let's say it's a python file so i'll just write py and you can see the icon changing let's say it's a java file or it can be a c file also 
Then the next thing is that we can add extensions in the Visual Studio Code. So we can just click on this extensions and then you can see all the popular extensions that are available like Python, Microsoft, C, C++ or if you want to add other extensions you can search them from here. If you want to add Java you can search it from here. Then let's come back to our explorer and under the src let's create a file let's say demo.py which is a python file and as soon as we create the file the visual studio code is going to show recommendations for installing extensions related to the file that we have created so here we are getting recommendation for extensions which are for python so if you want to install them you can just click on install Anyway, let's get into this file that is demo.py and let's try to print something. So I'll just print hello world. Then we can open the terminal in this current directory which is src. So just click on terminal in the menu bar and then click on new terminal. And you can see the terminal has been opened up in this current directory. Now if you write ls that is to list the files and folders you can see we have this demo.py and if we want to run the file we can just type python3 demo.py but it's not returning anything since we have not saved the file so let's hit ctrl plus s to save the file and let's run the command once again and this time you can see the file has been executed and hello world has been printed and you can see other icons that we have here on the left side that is for run and debug the codes or source control if you want to create many versions of the application or program you are working on then this is for search if you want to search any file you can do that from here or you can just hit ctrl plus f to open the search button and if you hit ctrl plus f while you are in the explorer the find is going to work in the explorer and if you are in the file and then you hit ctrl plus f then it's going to work within the file same goes for ctrl plus h which is for find and replace these are just some few shortcuts if you want to learn about visual studio otherwise these topics are for another video and finally if you want to add the visual code icon into this menu bar which we have on the left side you can just click on this show applications icon then right click on visual studio code and then just click on add to favorites and it's going to be added in the favorite or the menu bar which we have on the left side all right now if you want to open the visual studio code from terminal we can do that just open your terminal and type cd space documents and then just type code and hit enter and the visual studio code is going to open up all right now if you want to open visual studio code within a specified directory let's say src since we have created a folder src inside documents folder and let's say we want to open visual studio code within the src folder so i'll just type cd src this is going to make the active directory as src then just type code space dot and hit enter now the visual studio code is going to open up within this src folder so anyways i hope you liked the video this is all for this video i'll see you in the next video till then thanks for watching